Hello guys of United Rock Nations. We are an amazing company with Blind Channel and Joel and Nico. How are you? Awesome. Fantastic. So, uh, of course, we are here to talk about the new album Exit Emotions. It will be released the 1st March. So, what is your feeling about this new album? We like it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> what else? I mean, it's the best album we've ever done, easily, hands down. Yes, you think it's the best one? Yeah, yeah, easily. And why, you know, I, why I think do, it, do you think that? I think, like, um, it's it's a bit more maybe grown-up grown up album, and we're also, like, uh, st staying true to what we always wanted to be. Like, it's definitely a bit heavier, heavier album. Absolutely. Like, most most of our most of our like influences come from the metal music scene, and also for the first time, uh, you know, in the band's history, we approached the album from a live perspective. Like, ah, okay, because between the last album, the fourth album, and this one, we did over two hundred shows. Oh, yeah, ten tours, three in the U.S., seven in Europe, and then a lot of festivals. Over two hundred shows overall, and. I think that really affected the songwriting process that that when we started writing the songs, we were already thinking like, uh, how are we going to pull this off live? We were thinking about the live experience and right now we're just super excited to like finally release the album. And this isn't like an album just to be listened to, but an album that you need to experience. You need to experience these songs live and we're super excited to be finally able to like start a tour soon and get to the stages to play those songs in the environment they were written to be performed in fact uh musically there's a gap between exit emotions and lifestyles of the sick and dangerous the new one is really more heavy more heavier uh in the pure new new metal style uh, how do you explain this back to roots to to the roots I think we're always wanted to do music that is based in the new metal some way. Like uh, we are grown up uh, with Linkin Park, Korn, Slipknot, all of those bands. So um, they are kind of the musical root for the whole band. And um, I think in the end of the day, that's what we always wanted to do. Like heavy music with rap, rap and electronic influences. And, and we wanted to kind of rebrand also how the metal music sounds in 2024. So we don't want to like be a copycat of Linkin Park or anything no, absolutely. like that. Be absolutely. absolutely. Uh, the previous album worked very well, of course, uh, due to Dark Side, uh, the Eurovision single. The Eurovision single. Did you have some pressure when you came back again in studio to record the new album? Um, not really. Like, not that kind of pressure. Like. I think we've never really had pressure in making making songs. We don't even make songs because we want to do them. We write songs because we have to. It's our way to like deal with our emotions. Like I think the biggest pressure is that are we gonna like it? Like we we try to make music. We try to write songs that we love. And usually when we do that, the audience loves it as well. And I think like our music, it's our, this genre, the kind of music we're making, it also divides opinions. Like a lot of people love it, but a lot of people don't. And I think that's also a good thing. Like, I think the the biggest pressure we had, like with Exit Emotions was that, well, where are we going to find the time to record it? Because we did so, so many shows. We did, exactly. we were touring all the time. So schedule wise, it was a, pretty difficult journey but other than that i think we knew what we were doing and most of all we enjoyed what we were doing like we had to face it because like sometimes we, we've had very, very like mainstream audience in finland even in europe and like we were just discussing with the guys that we just need to face it that we're, we're not a pop rock band we're we're an alternative metal band and we wanted to face it and we wanted to embrace it and i think we really did with this album uh, talking about pressure, I, I was talking about, I was thinking about the, the record company. Oh, I mean, um, I think they know the reality that um, if we went to uh, uh, the world's biggest music competition, uh, we can't have the same amount of eyes watching at, uh, us this time. But they know that we're still like climbing in the in the real real scene. Like we want to make it to the Billboard and American Rock radios, and also we want to grow the audiences all around the Europe. 
and that is happening right now. They know that the growth is happening all the time, but there is no like shortcuts to anywhere anymore. You just have to do it like step by step. And that's what we, we hear from the century media all the time that it's guys, it's step, step by step. And that's what we're doing right now. We're just following the steps and grinding our asses off every day to do a lot of work. And that's how it goes, I guess. Fantastic. So tell us more about the songwriting process. Who bring the main ideas on the band? Um, like, well, if we talk about songwriting process, like the most important difference between this album and the previous one was that when we started writing the fourth album, um, that, that was a time of changes. Like we had a new member, Alex, who joined the band exactly. and we made the previous record like completely with the band because we needed to learn the new chemistry with a new member in the band and how, how to work in the studio. Alex is also a great producer. So he did that with, he also did that, like did the production part in exit emotions but with this album like because we really wanted to like aim for the international like scenes uh in europe and in the u.s uh we needed to collaborate we wanted to collaborate with like local writers who speak who, native english speakers and people like that so there was a lot more people involved just to make sure that we're not stuck in our own ways because we want to evolve and get better as songwriters and as artists uh usually like It starts that one of us has an idea, it may be a guitar riff or a song title, a lyrics, a chorus, whatever, and then we bring it to the studio. And in the studio, there's us in the band or some of us, and then there's some co-writer. We had many co-writers on this album. And usually the idea to like start to start with comes from one of us and then we start building it together and we did that with this album as well i think we had over 50 songs like oh. where to choose from and 12 made it to the album because they made like a best collection of songs so how do you manage you are two singers in the band so how do you manage uh um uh to uh who who decide I I sing this part and, and, and did this one singer did this part. How do do, I, do do you manage this? It's pretty natural for us. Um, mm -hmm. I have a little higher register for the vocals, so um, it's mostly that when there's like a chorus with the mostly like in the songs the chorus is the part where you sing the highest. So yes, the lead vocal can be on me on the on the chorus, and then there's there can be like harmonies from Nico. And also in the verses, we can just do like a, well, uh, at one point, Nico can be rapping or screaming, and then I'm going to like answer with the vocals. And, and it's it's like, a, it's the same thing with, uh, with the rap music, like many times. There's like rapping and singing. And also, if there's a bop band that has like, like boy bands, like for example, if, if you think about Backstreet Boys of Anything, they have like a lot of singers and they just exactly. like... They have their own parts, so so that's how it works, and I and I like it because um, for example, if you play 90 minutes live show and you have to like play 15 or 16 songs, it's super heavy if you're the only singer. Like absolutely, I'm, I feel yeah. sad for all the solo singers um doing that every night. It's a uh, it's a hard sport, but for yeah. us, see it this way. It's a blessing to have a friend over there, like singing, singing with you. And yeah, it comes very natural. Like you can almost see from the part what kind of what kind of vocals the part needs. You can almost sing, see that which one of us should sing it. And also, like we have a lot of other singers in the band as well. Like our guitarist Jonas sings a lot. Alex has started screaming live, so I think there's a lot of vocals on the on the Exit Emotions albums that are not from me and Joel actually. So yeah, there's a lot of singing going on. Um, so, um, um, you have some guests on this album, especially Rory, uh, yeah. uh, she's more a, compu a composer and a producer than a solo artist career. Tell us more how she was involved, uh, on the song Die Another Day. Um, we wrote we wrote two songs, like we were on our way to London to do sessions with Dan Lancaster and then... Dan Lancaster had invited Rory to the session as a, like a top liner, as a co-writer. And uh, Alex, our percussions DJ guy, he knew Rory from, from
on the past they had made a song together like some years ago when Alexi had his solo DJ thing yeah, exactly. and then R Rory came to the session we wrote two songs the songs were called Phobia and Keeping It Surreal and she was just super easy to work with an amazing songwriter and also she had this her own artist thing going on at the moment and then we had we did die another day with the band but we were, we didn't have a second verse and some parts were missing and we, we had been waiting for the right song to do a female feature we had never done that before and then we felt like this could be the song for a female feature and we sent it like <laughs> we started doing a list like what female artists do we know what comes to mind rory was first on the list we sent her the song and she nailed it she like finished the writing she wrote her own parts that were so good that i ended up adjusting the lyrics like to match the world she had created and then we realized that the song didn't even it, the song didn't need a female feature the song needed a rory feature she she completed the song it was so amazing to work with her right um you also collaborate with johnny andrews um Tell us more about this collaboration with him. He works with Motionless in White, Alice Storm, Eyes in Case, Three Days Grace. So tell us more about the collaboration with him. Yeah, he was one of the writers in Death Zone. Um, so like you said, he's a legendary songwriter in the USA. And um, he's been working with many, many big bands. And he has a lot of radio ones in, in active rock in America. So yeah, he's a legend. Um We had a we had a songwriting week in LA. It was late 2022, so it was uh, one year and three months ago. And he came to the session with the fresh idea called Dead Song. And we heard the song or the idea. We were like, "Holy shit, this is so dope!" And we fell in love with the with the melody and with the hook like immediately. And then we thought that okay, we need to we need to create this song and make it as as a uh, like priority single for the album. So yeah, that's about it. Absolutely. It's strange that usually in a band, uh, they like the band likes to uh, create your own your own music, but this time I think you you work with a lot of co-writers. Why this choice to to work with co-writers and not to write everything in the band? Um, I think it was the most important part, like of making this album, was collaborating with different people because. Like, uh, we don't want to be stuck in our own ways. Like, we we wrote the previous album completely by ourselves, uh, just the six of us in the band. And then we, we want to, like, open new doors, have the ideas that we wouldn't think of. Like, so I think the main part of making music is, like, you, if you want to surprise the audience, you need to first surprise yourself. And that's what we were aiming at. Like we wanted to, we want to learn, we want to evolve, we want to work with different people and get different ideas. Because that's, I feel that's the only way to get better as a songwriter and as an artist. So I, I think it, it was cool, a cool thing to collaborate with so many cool people. And I think we're gonna do that in the future as well. Not to mention that there are songs on the album that we wrote completely with the band. Like we do that a lot. We we did that a couple of days ago. We went to the studio just like for a week, just the six of us in the band and we wrote some new music. We also do that, but I think it's refreshing to work with new people and listen to their ideas as well. And also the lyrics, uh, uh, do you write all the lyrics or also uh, you, you you work with a co-producer a co or co-writer for the lyrics? It depends, it depends. I think Nico is the one in charge for the, for the lyrics and I'm mostly like, When we start to write a song, like for example, if I, I have an idea that has like a one one or two lyrics, um, Nico mostly takes that and writes this as a whole whole song. So yeah, it depends a lot. But there can be a moment when there's like a songwriter from the outside and she or he has a great idea and then just they write it together. But for example, most of the lyrics are from Nico. So yeah, yeah. So what I think there's this artistic kind of pride involved. Also, like, I'm very strict about blind channel lyrics. But at the same time, Rory wrote her own parts. From Ashes to New guys wrote their own parts that they were... Matt from Ashes to, to New, um, he did his own rap parts. Cause, and I think that's just natural that when you have an artist featuring in your song, uh, you, you don't... It's pretty douchebaggish if you go to... <laughs> tell them like singled like this of course if they don't have any ideas but usually artists do have a lot of ideas Absolutely. so we let them be creative as well what, what are the main topics you talk about uh, you like to write uh, with the new lyrics 
I think it's uh-huh. a struggle. Yes. Yeah. We like, uh, like I, I want to be precise on that. Like, even though I do most of the heavy lifting with the lyrics, like I write most of them, but it's always from the band's per step perspective. Like I write from like what the experiences of all the six of us in the band is we're always together. The six of us in the bus or at the airport or on stage or backstage, whatever. Um, so we go through the same stuff and the same hardships in life that happen. They happen to all of us. We discuss it a lot. So usually when we have, we're writing a song, we talk about our problems and our feelings. And then I just like write it down. But it's a discussion that's going on. Like it's all of our feeling. And it's almost like it's a personal struggle uh, from the perspective of a band. Because that's the only perspective that we can say is 100% true. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so in March, you will begin a European tour. Uh, what can we expect from the new shows? Well, we have the biggest production, biggest set list, um, biggest venues, um, uh, biggest audiences ever uh, so far as a headliners in Europe. We can't wait for the tour. It's going to be a long tour, 29 shows. Um, it's ending in an arena show in Helsinki, no, in Helsinki, in, in Tampere, in Finland. And then we also play in, in Paris. Uh, Absolutely. I don't remember what was the venue called, but I heard that it's a super legendary place. So we can't, we, we can't wait to come back to France. Um, we played in France, I think, two times before with Electric Cowboy and um, as a headliner. So every time we come back there, it felt so fucking great. Um, I take an Uber to Apple Tower. And I just take a photo of that and be a fucking tourist. And I, I love France. I love the red wine and all the cliches you have. And I think the audiences are just on another level in France. Fantastic. So we hope you... Uh, we, I will be there to see you live cool. when you play in France awesome. in Paris. And uh, we hope you the best for this new album, Exit Emotion. We rem- remember that it will be released the 1st March. So we hope you the best for this new album. And thank you very much for all the answers. Uh, for talking about this new album. Thanks, Thanks so for much. having us. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye.